His ruling maintaining the legality of Obamacare is actually a conservative decision. Oh, yes, I'm the great pretender. Judicial activism means judges make laws from the bench, and right-leaning Americans hate that. So Roberts did not want to overturn We are listening to the biggest phony in the history of the media, Bill the Leprechaun O'Reilly. As you well know, he hates me. And um, I'll be very frank with you. It's sort of an Irish mafia at Fox News, which is why I'm banned from Fox News. I finally figured it out. You got Murdoch, O'Reilly, Hannity. They have criminals, degenerates, prostitutes, liberals on the show, but they won't touch... Uh, Michael Savage, and that's because O'Reilly has a personal vendetta against me because he knows I see right through him. I have a question for you. How has this fraud, Bill O'Reilly, gotten this far in life without being found out? How in the world can anybody listen to this gigantic faker, Bill O'Reilly, who gets up and stares at the camera last night? I, I was shocked. I was shocked as this man lied. If there was a real Pinocchio in life, this man's nose would have been six feet long. He was staring at you at the camera on Fox News and maintaining that Obamacare is a conservative decision uh, by Judge Roberts. And he went on and on and on. It was shocking. So I figured, although I won't mention the leprechaun, you know, good luck to him, I couldn't resist it because it's hard to believe that you were that gullible that you would believe this fraud. Why would Murdoch and the Irish, the Purple Gang, why would Murdoch and the Purple Gang on Fox News think that they can get away with calling this a, a conservative decision on the part of Roberts? How does, how does the Irish Mafia get away with this on, on Fox News? I don't know. Then he concludes, O'Reilly does, the leprechaun. Listen to this in clip four. You're never going to believe this. So what should conservatives do about John Roberts? Hate Stop him? Stop right there. Stop right there. Suddenly he's saying, what should conservatives do about John Roberts? Like he speaks for conservatives. He's telling you what to think after we've been stabbed in the back by the turncoat. John Roberts, this fraud, this fraud... Bill O'Reilly tells you what to think about John Roberts because you don't have the brains to understand that you were stabbed in the back and America will never be the same again? Let me tell you something, Bill. You're a liar and you're a fraud. And I challenge you to a debate any day, anywhere on this program or anywhere else. You lying louse, you. You're worse than Roberts. You're part of the reason America is going down the toilet. It's you and fake conservatives like you who have destroyed this country, you fraud. You do anything for a buck, you Connie Barker, you. You fraud, you, you mortadella. You shillelagh, you faker, you, you liar. I cannot believe what I listen to. I cannot believe what I listen to. But okay, I have a passion about my subject. You know who I really believe about what's going on in this country? Me. And I'll tell you, I'm not alone. There's an article I just posted from World Net Daily on Michael Savage about a hero general, a real general, not one of the phonies that Obama put into the Defense Department to destroy the military, but a real hero general. A real hero general, someone who's really fought in combat, as opposed to those two-bit frauds that Obama stuffed into the Pentagon. You know what he said? He said that Obama is following the plans of a Marxist insurgency right in America, right in front of your eyes. I see that. You see that. But apparently, Bill O'Reilly and the purple gang at Fox News refuse to see what's going on right under their eyes. General Boykin gave us a warning. And General Boykin laid out a step-by-step -step plan that he says as a model of how Fidel Castro instituted Marxism in Cuba, how Mao Zedong, the murderer of 60 million Chinese, did it in China, how Stalin, the killer of 80 million Russians, did it in Russia, and Hugo Chavez, the murderer in Venezuela, did it. And he said Obama's following their game plan. One, nationalize major sectors of the economy. Obama's done that. Two, redistribute wealth. He's doing it and he's done it. Three, discredit the opposition. The fraud is doing it and he's done it. Four, censors opposing viewpoints. Censor opposing viewpoints. They're not doing that? Five, control gun ownership. Mark my words, that's coming next. Six, develop a constabulary force to control civilian populations. Do you remember when Obama said he wanted a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded as the U.S. military? You didn't believe me. It's coming. I'm promising you that with sellout turncoats like Bill O'Reilly, You'll be a victim in your own country. I'm asking you why you listen to that faker. I'd like to know if any conservative listening to this show believes a word that the leprechaun says. I'm asking you point blank. And I finally found out why I'm banned from Fox News. It is an Irish mafia. It runs from Murdoch through O'Reilly through Hannity. They want nothing to do with my genius or intelligence. And what's astonishing 
is that Murdoch doesn't even know that I defended him and trickled down in, in, in trickle down tyranny, number one. And number two, Harper's, the publisher who published me, is a division of Murdoch's News Corporation. To just show you how the, the leader of a corporation doesn't even understand how personal vendettas by small-minded men like Bill O'Reilly are actually costing them money is astonishing to me.